Welcome back to Morning Express. We are glad you're watching. I'm Sophia Wanuna. Today on the show, we're very generous. Alongside the people from Sankara Hotel, we're giving dinner for two a voucher. And here are some of the questions. Answer any of this correctly and you can stand a chance to win the vouchers. And so many of you have already been tweeting. And I've never gotten as many compliments as I'm getting today. Uh, hoping that you'll get on my good side and win the tickets. But you have to get one of those questions right. What is the most popular wine from California? What type of meat pairs best to the Sauvignon Blanche? And what wines is California renowned for? Tweet me at Sophia Wanuna. Use the hashtag Morning Express KTN. And I will choose one of you. We'll announce the winner at the end of the show. You must stay tuned to the end of the show to catch uh, who the winner will be. And of course, we'll be getting in touch with that lucky person. The dinner for two, you can either have it tonight, today, this Friday, or tomorrow. Uh, and of course, enjoy yourself with your loved one or with your you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, mother, father, whoever you decide. Um, then we also have some beautiful goodies, some giveaways uh, in KTN goodie bags, but they're from the Nairobian. There you see them. We have five of them. The Nairobian just recently turned one year. So send birthday messages to the Nairobian. Whatever amazing things you'd like to say about the Nairobian, I'll choose five of you and we'll give you these goodie bags that have amazing, beautiful looking t-shirts that you can rock on a weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or whenever. Uh, the Nairobi and be part of the huge, beautiful standard group uh, family with that beautiful t shirt. So keep tweeting at Sophia Wanuna. I'm going to be looking at them and we'll announce the winners at the end of the show. Joy Chalagat is with me in studio. She's the head of social media here at the standard group. And we're talking about when private goes public. And you don't want that to happen. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You know, I remember the day um, there was uh, the crash, uh, the WhatsApp crash for a while it wasn't mm -hmm. working mm -hmm. and later on and now everybody was talking about it on, on, on Twitter especially um, what's going on mm -hmm. and one of the tweets that was put out there is that I'm sure most people's concern is that now that Zuckerberg has WhatsApp if for some weird reason they you know press the wrong button and everything from WhatsApp goes to your Facebook page <laughs> the videos oh, the pictures you're yes. like oh because it creates that kind of privacy but let's start with social media when we're talking about the privacy that's each of them has the element that will give you privacy for Twitter it's DM right yes um, we can go uh, page by page so yeah. when we go to Twitter you know you have the direct messages the DM uh, which as we've talked about before is not so private because someone can just leak them yeah on Facebook uh, you have the private private chats, which people tend to really use a lot, you know, talk about, oh, this is happening at the office, I don't like this person sitting next to me, yeah. and you find a lot of drama going on there. Mm -hmm. um, then we also have, you know, the private emails that people have, like the office emails, uh, WhatsApp messages, you know, and other messaging apps as well, allowing mm -hmm. you to have one-on-one -on -one chats with people, or even uh, private group chats as well. Um, G Plus also allows you to have mini chats with people, so mm -hmm. G Plus, and most of the other um, social media networking platforms or the other social networking platforms also give you that opportunity. Yeah. Yes. So there are those avenues. But as you say, not all of them are watertight. Yes, not all of them are watertight. Um, and uh, I mean, it depends on, first of all, your personal security. Yeah. Um, I know this is going to really shock many people, but you should never use the same password for all your accounts. Really? Yes. I know most guys feel that uh, I have a G Plus account, I have a Twitter account, I have yeah. all these mini accounts, let me just have one password. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Just have one password for all of them. But the problem is this. We've had uh, instances in the past where security has been, you know, hacked. So someone hacks into maybe LinkedIn and they take all the passwords. So since you've used the same password oh for LinkedIn gosh. and all these other accounts, now I have access to your accounts. And it gets worse for some people because they even use the same passwords for their online banking. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the ways that you know you could actually lose security okay yes. um so let's first we'll go back to the various accounts and social media platforms mm -hmm. but we're talking about private information yes. photos we've seen that happen oh, yes um, nude photos going online conversations that are very sexual in nature yes uh, finding themselves online as well how does this happen well um there's so many celebrity examples that sometimes you even wonder does anyone ever listen to the news anymore you I know, know. Um, what happens is for some people, um, we've had some celebrities like in the US, like couples are far away from each other, so, you know, to keep the fire alive, mm -hmm. they tweet each other. I mean, they, you know, send each other private messages with these very provocative photos. Now, what was meant to have been private somehow goes public because mm -hmm. you'll find that uh, sometimes when some of these boyfriend-girlfriend relationships split, someone gets angry and just uploads all your 
private photos yeah. online and that's one of the ways that you find that uh, nude photos make their way online okay. even in Kenya and um, we've had instances where um, some of our celebrities have had their nude photos go online then they, they, they blame um, angry boyfriends are like Pendo had her photos go online and she said no I didn't plan to release them these were private and uh, they ended up becoming public yeah so are we telling people don't take it don't take those kind of <laughs> pictures because somehow they could get their way to the public I've, yes yes definitely because I'll tell you one thing um, you never have complete security online because whether it's the platform itself whether it's an individual whether it's your own carelessness of leaving your computer open mm. it happens and when that happens you know once that photo goes there we will never forget it will always be there the internet will never forget yeah and emails as well that happens yes. uh, because people will think and i've seen quite a number of instances mm -hmm. so even here in kenya uh, you know where at the end of the day you're reading a whole you know somebody was sitting in their computer writing all their thoughts and all these things whether to a loved one or about other employees and uh, it becomes quite interesting. Yes, yeah, so there's a blog that really um, <laughs> garnered a lot of hits yeah. towards I think the end of 2012 or early 2013 mm -hmm. where um, a senior staff member had written a very spicy email about yeah. um, what they think should be done at their workplace mm -hmm. and the email made its way online and yes. it gathered a lot of hate for that particular individual. Mm -hmm. And I mean it's not them alone. I remember the, the craziest saga we've had in Kenya I think for most people was a Darth Vader saga. Nice. Yes, five months ago, um, when the seed, when the those the, we had the deputy, um, I'm forgetting Gladys Chalet yes. when she left, and then we had these emails that uh, came up, and I remember that you know now all these emails that people thought were private became well, public. public. Yes, and I remember that um, some people even had the whole scanned copy, like part part and pieces of a scanned copy online, and it made national news. I remember mm -hmm. watching quite a number of shows. And Darth Vader. Yes, and the characters there in the email yes yeah. and um, I'm sure some of these people when they were sitting down to write these things were very sure that it would never go never. public and and for many people I mean that shared a lot of questions about you know the judiciary and then made it, many people go back into the inboxes and delete all the things that they had sent mm -hmm. because you're thinking if that could happen in the judiciary what if it happens in my own company mm -hmm. yeah where I've been writing about certain things that I think yeah, should like, go that's public that's Sophia <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah wow it's interesting that you, you point that out because then then, uh, with this age, new age we've come into technology, it's such a big thing. Mm -hmm. More and more people are embracing it. Um, young people are really big mm -hmm. on it. And that is where the biggest danger lies. Mm -hmm. um, because with most of them, it's experimental. They're young. They're mm -hmm. feeling, you know, I want to share all these beautiful things about my life. Mm -hmm. But forget that, as you were telling us last the other week, is that um, later on, you could have a boss who will do background check and find mm -hmm. some pictures, which today you might not have a problem sharing with the world. But later on, you could. I was actually I'll just give a very pr practical example. Uh, yeah. Yesterday I was at a social media training and we had so many guys from senior companies. So I would realize that when you introduce yourself to someone, they're like, what's your last name? Oh, okay, cool. Then later on, you know, you meet them and they're like, ah, oh, I read about you. You do yes. one, two, three, four, because basically these days it's a standard operating procedure to Google people. Mm. You know, when I know I'm having a meeting with you, maybe you have a communications consultancy, I want to think, let me Google you. Yeah. Yes. Um, I'll give you a very, very interesting example that the trainer gave. Yeah. He said he was going for a minor operation and and uh, the person who usually does the anesthetics, you know, is supposed to come and tell you, I'm going to give you this uh, medication and we'll put you under. And so this person comes out and they don't look like an anesthetist. Yeah. And he's thinking, hmm, so what's your name again? So he asked him and it was, it was before he got wielding, he was just in surgery prep. So he whips out his phone and, you know, Googles, Googles. her because she just doesn't look like doesn't an anesthetist. <laughs> <laughs> so the photo he gets scared him straight because he sees a photo of her with a 40 percent you know the alcohol that's like 40 percent the stuff you think drink this much of right <laughs> and this is her profile photo and she's like oh. <laughs> yeah I I know. Not and, and then procedure. you know she had just said something about trying uh, the, the the medicine that she wanted to give him <laughs> was not necessarily um in stock so she's going to give him another one he, he, he said like no you know what oh i think i can God. this is not an emergency procedure i think uh, something oh, okay. has come up because mm. we search people yes I want to consider a lawyer. I search you online. I want to see what's, what information is out there. So people need to be very careful. Yeah. Very, very careful. So where, where then is the safety? Are we saying that the only information that is safe in this world is what's in your mind? <laughs> I mean, that has come out. Anyone could have it. Because even with phone calls, there's the issue of recording and all of that happening. Uh, but 
even just because I've seen that happen where like when I'll post maybe an image on my Instagram which of course does not have this security um, maybe it does you can tell us mm -hmm. about that somebody else will pick it up and misrepresent the information and put there elsewhere so mm -hmm. I find that quite annoying yes I mean it's it's like chess you have to think about the counter game at the end of the day and um, that's why I know so many people these days who insist on having one-on-one -on -one meetings. Yes. I've had people who insist, I'm like, oh, can we talk about this? Or, no, let's just meet one-on-one. -on -one. Mm. Because there, um, it's very hard sometimes. Okay, yeah, people can still record and do all that, but it's not as um, it's not as vulnerable. Especially when you're talking about uh, private, private details. Um, but I think the most important thing for people is consider what could actually happen at the end of the day if the information gets out. Mm. Yes. All right. So what are some of those securities that also we need to look at in settings um, perhaps to help make it better because eventually mm -hmm. it could happen uh, but with Facebook with Twitter um, WhatsApp I don't know if it has any such settings mm -hmm. uh, that could still make your information less likely to leak okay so we'll start from the inside going out yeah first of all start within your own circle as an individual never ever have the same passwords and if you have the same passwords please go and change them okay especially for your email um, if you have your email that where you log in you know the email where you used to register to your Facebook if it has all these other accounts always have a different password for that one because that's the one you'll use to you know restore your passwords right. so always have and it makes sure that that one account which has uh, most of uh, which you used to register to most of the social networking mm -hmm. platforms is very secure if possible change the account the, the passwords regularly okay. in case there's a security breach at any particular point yes secondly never ever leave your devices lying about mm. we tend to have iPads and phones mm. that are already logged in and permanently logged in on our, on our, on our computer screens yeah so you'll find that someone will leave their iPad lying about and he doesn't have a security pass so some will just come swipe and type whatever they feel like typing yeah. or even save your passwords because I can go and look at saved passwords on the browser so be very careful because this can also have financial implications because some of us have even saved our e-banking uh, details, details. On, on your browser so do that mm -hmm. the other thing is consider not saving your passwords on your browser I know it's easy I know it saves time but when you save your passwords on the browser if by any chance your browser is hacked or you download malware which is one of the other things we'll talk about yeah it can actually take uh, the passwords from your browser okay. so from within the first circle your inner self make sure that you keep changing your passwords they're regularly they're not the same they're not the same and they're not obvious passwords don't have sofia01 mm -hmm. as your password because I, I mean Sophia, just as, or the year i was born and you know my name <laughs> yes yeah. or, or the name like i know parents who have the names of their children as their passwords mm -hmm. obviously you talk about your children so all the if time. you have alexander i'll just go type in alexander and try all the different passwords mm -hmm. yes and also google the most common passwords and avoid those ones. and avoid and always go to mix them up with the digits uh, some of those you yes know, um, mix the characters have yeah, digits characters, yeah. have um, have exclamation marks have punctuation points have spaces that makes it more difficult yeah. uh, for people to actually try and uh, hack, hack your password yeah. so that's one the second thing is check your the people surrounding you, you know the Swahili is just right there it's just right there yes yeah. many people who leak information are people around you are not so happy for example Sophia you get this amazing promotion at work and I, I work next to you and I feel like oh my gosh Sophia should not be get, I should get this yeah. so what I do is I try and look for information about Sophia that would actually hurt her online mm. so keep checking the people around you and the access they have to information people have access to your photos and things like that keep checking and make sure that the information that people have access to is not negative okay also make sure that you do not send um, negative emails if you're pissed off at work just contain it some of us have that and just of course we all find out go posting something on Facebook like somebody I saw doing yesterday and you, you know everybody finds it and then you look very stupid mm, completely completely because like I can get mad at you now and I decide to chat about you with the person next to me and say yeah. oh you know this and that about you then the next time I get mad you know about this person or I do something that pisses them off we'll decide to just snip the whole conversation yeah and post it online and yeah. so we'll see what, what a bad woman joy is I mean she talks about her friends like this so that's always very or even your colleagues oh your like colleagues. I go write about you um, I go yeah. like a joy yes yeah don't write about your colleagues I mean some things just contain your emotions I know sometimes you feel like you have to get an outlet but contain your emotions mm -hmm. and as you discuss with people be very careful about the information you give them um, even uh, giving people passwords. I know people who give boyfriends passwords. I know, in this, you know, trying to create this, <laughs> I trust you with my life. This is my password. <laughs> do not. Do not. Do do that. not. Yeah. Because you don't know the nature of the relationship or whether they'll write it down and then someone will happen mm -hmm. upon that piece of paper. Sure. Yes, just be very careful with your circle of friends then you also need to check on your devices and the places you surf online 
I'm sure you go to some of these websites and you see this huge blinking download, download and buttons. so annoying, yeah. Yes, but the funny thing about them is um, they always put them on sites either where you're downloading content. Okay. So as you're downloading that video, um, they'll also download malware or softwares that are actually um, coming into your computer, like viruses, which actually collect your information and things like that. Wow. So be very careful when you're downloading things online. Always have an up-to-date um, antivirus because what happens with antiviruses is anytime there's a new threat mm. they update their system and how they can be able to actually flag it down so always update you and i know it takes forever yeah. i know it's irritating to click on that update button but it really it does helps. protect you yeah. yes um so i'll give you some of the things that some of the scams that people use mm. um when they steal your content there's one uh, one of the ways they actually do this um is phishing it's called phishing but ph phishing so you, I'm sure you've seen in your inbox, most of us, you get this email from this company that wants you to register so that you can win some lottery or they tell you you won something. Yes. Or, and it usually looks very legit. You know, you look at the way the email is written, looks very legit, has links and everything, and that, you know, has a link to a page. When you click on the link, takes you to this page and you're supposed to fill in your details mm. now that's called phishing what they do is they, they mimic uh, trusted sites and trusted uh, organizations so they could mimic your bank they could mimic an organization that you know and then when you go there now and yeah. fill in the information you've actually just given them your information. Your information yes you've given them all your information and then now they can use it to either take money from you especially guys who do a lot of e-commerce yeah and, and even get access uh, to your accounts as well okay. um, the other way that um, this is actually done is something called key logging uh, Basically, these are softwares that kind of note which keys you press. So mm. they actually, yes, that's one of the ways. That's why you always have to update your antivirus because um, the guys behind these huge antivirus companies actually um, keep their eyes on what's happening and developing what hackers are doing. Yeah. And they put that into the system. So when you update it, I mean, it's always a lot. So there are these key logging softwares, which basically anytime you type in a password or a pin or something like that, it takes note of those and puts them up. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, another way that uh, you can also, that, that people actually use to get to your details is they send you um, apps which, you know most of us when you're downloading apps, we yes. don't read through the terms and I know, conditions. You just go, I agree. Agree, 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 yeah. agree, and you put in the app. Right. Some of these apps are free, but they're free because the people will get information and data about you. Wow. Now sometimes you'll find that there are apps that when you download, they'll say they want to post on your behalf. I'm sure you've seen um, some of these apps you say, oh my gosh, your ex is my ex, so my profile is at that yes. you post on my profile. Yes. Because what you did is you clicked on a link or you clicked on an app that allows, um, that gives Facebook that when you give the permission and say okay 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 yeah. it says that you can post on my Facebook or you can post on my Twitter or you can send emails I'm sure you've seen people who DM you things that just doesn't look like them and yeah. you call them like I didn't do that yeah. it's because you gave permissions to different apps so always go through the terms and conditions before you download or an just app refuse. I like yes, to go refuse. don't allow don't allow <laughs> yes and before yeah. you before you download the next app you've seen online do your research about the app because people also mimic apps so I'll take the logo of wow. this app and and change the name a little down and there you and then you won't realize but because it's a trusted brand you will download it and install it and then now i have all your information including your stored passwords and your pins to your accounts as well okay so our time is up but what i'm hearing from you with this conversation the social media space it's quite dangerous mm -hmm. um in as far as things could really go south real fast mm -hmm. um, and we're talking about the information that you want to be private so you need to be more cautious and you've taken us through all the pointers um as far as our passwords are concerned uh the people around us who we're giving uh, that information to but bottom line um joy in as far as information i really never want to be out there pictures it's really for pictures because it's really bad uh, and we've seen cases where you know new pictures will be leaked sexting and then we mm -hmm. get to see all your dirty conversation mm -hmm. um nobody wants that out and people to look at you with that other eye um strange look mm -hmm. so to wrap it up other than all of that it's key to just do what joy be old school man be, be old, old school, school. Okay. be old school don't take nude photos of yourself we've had these cases in the u.s where senators have had their nude photos online don't do that just be old school and some to some extent and also just uh, make sure that you don't have some people within your circles that you send these images to yeah yes yeah because right now i know joy if you <laughs> put right now many people's um what's up <laughs> on oh yes. yeah the videos and even sometimes it's not um it's just of videos that you have been sent for by people and then that kind of thing happens uh but uh, 
passwords are important securing and uh, changing them all the time and not having the same password mm -hmm. as well so to keep the private private mm -hmm. thank you very much joy for talking to us about that and we look forward to hosting you again yeah um we're glad you're watching morning express I was just about to sip my coffee then i realized i'm still talking uh, we have our giveaways this morning that question that's about to come on your screen right now could mean several questions actually uh that you have dinner tonight or tomorrow night at the sankara hotel answer either of those questions or all of them correctly tweet me at sofia wanuna and you could be that lucky winner it's two vouchers we're giving away and you could win those vouchers and enjoy amazing dinner some wine as well it's dinner worth five thousand of 500 per person that you could get and then there are those good, uh, gift hampers the goodie bags that are on our desk and these are from Nairobian that's our sister publication and the standard group they turned one recently uh, any birthday message you have for the Nairobian you've been reading it every Friday it's your weekly uh, newspaper on all news entertainment and pop culture um, do let us know uh, tweet me at Sophia Anuna again your birthday messages I'll pick up random five people and give them those uh, gift uh, hampers today. So you have to watch till the end of the show uh, so that you can find out if you are among the lucky few. And we are glad you're watching Morning Express because in the next hour, Friday Chat is back with a bang. I've got three amazing gentlemen with me. Wilson Boro, you've seen him on KTN Prime. We also have Michael Caranjo, a businessman, as well as Joseph Bonio, the editor of the Business Desk. They're coming up to talk about all things fun and easy and a little bit about themselves as well. Don't go away. Stay with us right here on Morning Express.